welcome back to the Paper Whisperer. Today I'll be teaching you a super, super, but not too complex model. It's a porcupine that I designed earlier today. So this is so this took me so long that I'll be dividing it into three parts. What well, the third one will be really short. And the first part, which is what I'll be sh what I'll be showing you today, which is the pre-creasing, which it takes actually, which is one of the longest parts. It's actually, I think it's the longest, but it depends how long the collapsing goes. I'll be using an 18 by 18 inch sheet of double tissue paper that I made myself. And well, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and let's get started. So to start, you're gonna fold in half in all directions. Make sure these are accurate and strong. Very strong, I mean. I mean, it's not a perfect square, but it's good enough. And unfold. Now, fold. By the way, I already have one of the diagonals folded because I had to cut the sheet from the rectangle. One sec, let me make this. Wait. Yeah, one sec. Let me make this a better square. Okay. One sec, let me grab some scissors to make that better square. Sorry for the interference. Sorry, again. This is embarrassing. I mean, it's my, it's one of my first times having double tissue. You can't blame me, right? But double tissue paper is quite a cool paper. Indeed. Okay, so back to the tutorial. Now we're gonna fold in half in the last direction. Or edge. By the way, make sure to follow along carefully. And if you get confused, go to the discussion page on my channel homepage. Sorry, on my channel. Go to the discussion section on my channel page, and you'll have the and go, click on the link to the crease pattern. Otherwise, if you get confused with both, just try your best. I can't say anything else. Sorry. The, I know this is gonna be a blue porcupine. I don't have brown tissue paper. Sorry about this. Now, once you do that, you're gonna fold the, every edge to the middle crease. By the way, I'd recommend having a good amount of experience in origami. I barely folded this, but um, that's basically it. Have a strong, thin paper as usual. This one I made out of craft paper, a roll. This one obviously doesn't look great because the paper started ripping a bit, as you might be able to tell here. So like I said, use the strong paper, but more importantly, thin. You can probably see how thick this is. But the thing is, if you use too thin of a paper, it won't stand like, oops, like this. Okay, anyways, back to the tutorial. Now, unfold. Rotate and fold the edge to the middle. Okay, I have some more cutting to do. Sorry about this. One sec. That 
should be good. Okay. Now, once you do that, unbold. Don't make your cream strong, as usual. Rotate 90 degrees and fold the edge to the middle. Now, surprisingly, this one kind of takes a grid, kind of doesn't. You're going to need a 4x4 grid and quite a few extra greases. Okay, unfold. Now, do not fold the 1 eighth. Fold the 3 eighths. So, basically, we're going to make a crease between here and here by folding the edge up to here. Make sure my computer doesn't turn off. As usual, make it strong. Most important part. But also make it accurate. Almost as important. Actually, no. Accurate's more important. Okay, unfold. Now, what we're going to do. Actually, let me think. Hey! So now, I'm making, I'm working on something! Cool. So now, um, you're gonna fold this edge to, let me check. Yeah. Fold this edge to here. I'm making a tutorial! What? Don't call me, don't say my name. Sorry. It's okay. Okay, sorry. Now, we're gonna rotate and we're gonna fold the fourth. And again, we make the eighths. As you might be able to tell, I am not using, but um, I'm not I'm not making any increases on this edge and this edge to um the to the first crease. This is for, parallel to each edge that I just selected or told you about. I pointed to that's the right word. Okay. Yeah, this is the simple part of the pre-creasing. Okay, unfold. Okay, hopefully no more cuts after this. You know, this is still pure origami. I'm just making my double tissue paper a better square. Which is, like I said, embarrassing. Now, once you've done that, make sure your pieces are strong. And then what you're going to do is you're going to fold, you're going to rotate it so that the eighth creases the eighth creases where they meet up that's where that's the corner you should be that should be facing toward you now you're going to fold to the second intersection then the fourth intersection then there's no more eighths so then you're going to fold to the next intersection If I um if I it's unclear, please don't curse. But I finally turned um not an appropriate comment, uh, an, imp an impro normal almost normal comments on. So feel free to tell me what you think of this. But make sure that if it's mean, it it will get deleted, and if it's cursing, I'll delete it myself because I want this to be a family friendly channel. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna repeat that all the way around. So this time, but this time we don't have as many intersections. So basically, I'm just gonna point to it, fold to this point, then fold to this point. Hopefully, I'm not going too fast. 
I'll go a lot slower soon. And then go to this point. And unfold. And I can get the point. Rotate it. Pull to here. The one. No, I'm just going to say it. One quarter mark. It's going to be easier. One half mark. And three quarter mark. And we have one last side left. Unfold. Now, stay, stick with me. First, um, just um, don't blame me. This is my first time using dual tissue for a tutorial. So, one quarter. And this is a pretty big sheet. So, I'd recommend having a big sheet. Yeah. This one's around the same size as this. It makes quite a, and there's going to be quite small creases sometimes. And we're going to fold to here, finally. And unfold. Now, here comes the tricky part. I'm going to try to zoom in the best I can. Oops. Oops. I'm still working on this one. Okay. So now... We're gonna rotate it, so we're back where the one eighth corner is, where the two one eighth creases meet. Right over, oh, that's close. Right over here. So what we're gonna do is, we're basically, um, you do your basically we're gonna fold the edge to the diagonal creases, but we're gonna not do this for the whole square actually. We're going to do this for not, not three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine individual squares. This sounds hard. It's not that hard. You just have to follow along carefully, and it's very time consuming. Remember, this tutorial is so long. I'll, this is only part one. Okay. Um, anyways, let me just recycle these. Maybe just recycle it, at least for now. Um. And then, um, we're gonna fold, um, here to the edge to the diagonal crease, but we're not gonna make a full crease. We're only gonna fold up to this crease, where this crease hits the edge. Let me check. Yeah. So it's gonna look like this. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna repeat on the other side. Remember, be careful. This this origami is likely to rip. So, um, just make sure, like I said, make sure that you have a strong sheet, as usual. Okay. Now, we're going to fold this edge, oops, this edge up to this crease. This crease. We're going to fold that to the, to the, the original, the first diagonal crease that goes, um, basically like that. It's hard to explain. Basically, you're gonna fold that edge to there, and you're gonna do the same over here. Fold this edge to this crease. Okay. Now what we're gonna do? These are a bit trickier now, so be careful. Like I said. So now we're gonna make a mountain fold along this crease and we don't have to make it all the way actually it might be easier to make it all the way it's going to help you later even though this crease should be a valley fold when you're done now we're going to pivot it so that this mountain fold hits this crease. Like I said, this is a pretty complex model. So I'd say have, if you 
if you have, I'd say, if you haven't learned from someone, like, who actually taught you in person, then I'd recommend having, like, maybe um, 10 years of experience. But if you had someone, or you are just really experienced and you think you can take this on, then, I'd, then I'd recommend having at least 7 years of experience. Okay, we made it. I think, yeah. Now, we're gonna repeat in the other direction. So, we're gonna make a mountain fold along this line. Sorry if it's hard to see. I'm trying to bet my best to show it, but whenever I turn this light on, it gets too bright. But for now, you know what? That's not that bad. That might work, actually. Beautiful color, right? I used Elmer's glue, actually. It works pretty well. Eventually, I'll make a double tissue tutorial. But anyways, now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to pivot it so that it hits the same crease. Check. Make sure you don't crease it too much. That's pretty important, right? Okay, now the final creases. What we can do is we can, um, let me think, what are the final, oh yeah. So now we're gonna fold this to here. Wait, let me check, is that it? I think so. Oops, no, wrong app. Okay, so now we're gonna fold from this, from this edge, sorry, this crease, now I'm going to this crease. Let me just check, make sure it's the right one. Yeah, it's the right one, all right. Like I said, if you're skilled enough to follow a crease pattern without help, and I don't know which how to put the mountain folds and valley folds in, feel free to check out the crease pattern. I'll put it in the description and it's on the discussion page. You know what? One sec. To make it strong. And then repeat here. And some points are going to look like they're about to rip because there's more creases in some, going towards some points than others. And there's going to be a lot of creases. We have the first square pre-creased. Now, you might have guessed, we're gonna do it nine more times. For this one, 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 and this one. Sorry, oops, knocked over a uh, bin. Anyways, now, we're gonna, now, one thing that's nice though, is we have a bit of a guider. So, since we have this point, oops, this point, let me make my camera back to normal, then, you can just fold from that point to here, as I learned, just figured out when making my my crease pattern. And we have, oh, and we almost have it perfect. Now we're gonna repeat here. If you want, you can make it now. Well, that might be easier. There we go. Now, as usual, we're gonna make this crease so that we have this intersection on the crease, this intersection, and that this crease aligns with this crease. Oops. One sec. There we go. Now, we're gonna do this one. No, I'm not gonna narrate it anymore. Well, I, I actually never mind. Sorry, I keep changing my mind. I'm gonna narrate it, but not as much as you can probably see just through it. Like I said, this takes some a whole lot of time. 
so it's not too hard of a food reason. It's not like something really complex. It's, I mean, the creek reason at least, the clock collapsed pretty hard, but, um, anyways. So we have this crease. Now we have a bit of an easier thing. We're gonna fold this mountain fold to this crease. I know a lot of mountain folds, I know. Come on. I know what it's like. But this ancient, sorry, this model is much harder. Not much harder, but harder in general than the ancient dragon. It has one. Most cotton models that have one big collapse are harder than some of Sadashi Kamiya's models. Oops. Good enough. Now, we're gonna repeat here. as slow as I can, but there's not much I can do about it, about my fast folding. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do but what you can do if you're not sure whether you got it right or not you can check if there's an octagon in the middle eight sides so we have one wait let me check we have one two oops, let me fix that so one two uh Now we can use those creases to make more, the intersection points. Okay, so. Okay, let me fix this one. Okay, so now, one, two, three. Hmm, okay, one sec. Three, oops. one, two, three, four, five. We have six. Oops, we don't have six. At least I don't think we do. We can always make creases stronger to show them. In this model, you have to be very careful not to rip the paper. It's going to be pretty tempting. Not tempting, but it's going to be pretty hard not to rip the paper. Okay, now one last crease. Oops, let me make sure my computer doesn't turn off. You know the drill. Macs, um, the MacBooks, um, try to turn off. That's the one thing I prefer about the Surface, which I used to use for my tutorials. But the MacBooks is a lot better. Any on, in, anyways, in my opinion. So, let's do this. Now, we have this square pre-greased, and we're gonna do this one. Okay, let me just check. Hmm, I think I might have done a few creases the wrong. Let me just check. Okay, I see. So I forgot a crease. 
you have to fold the to the thirtieth on every side. Sorry, you guys, I forgot about that. It doesn't matter. It's not too late. If we were collapsing, it'd be too late because if we're in. It wouldn't be good if we were in the middle of the collapse and we realized we forgot a crease. I mean, we could still make it during the collapse, but we have to flatten everything we did, which would be really hard for us and really frustrating. Anywho, now I'm gonna rotate it. Now we're gonna do this square. I can tell this is gonna take about an hour just to pre-grease in. Okay, so now we're gonna fold it to here as usual in order to fold up to this crease. Let me check. I'm confused. Uh, never mind. Got confused. So we're gonna fold this crease up to here. It looks confusing, trust me. Okay. Uh, wait a second. Okay, whoops, I did something wrong. There we go. Okay, I've been making mistakes. Okay, and you, it's okay if you do too. Yes. This can be a hard model. Okay, again, make this a mountain fold. There we go. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, use this as a mountain fold. Actually, no, just this. We actually we can use some reference points instead. Like that. And then. Okay, now we're gonna make a crease from this point, sorry, this, yeah, point, point, or the corner of this square. Let me turn this off, so it's better for you to see. So, wait, let me turn this back on. So, we're gonna go from this corner, sorry, yeah, this corner to here, approximately here. Well, how we're gonna do this, we're gonna go through this intersection point, And we are almost done with this row at least. We have much more to go. Once you do finish this square, um, we have to do these and these. A few more, I know. It's kind of hard on people, but this origami is pretty cool. Like I said, this is not for beginners. I'd, if you were a beginner, or even if you haven't folded a uh, uh, wrong one, if you, I'll tell you what, if you're able to fold um, the um, the fire breathing chaos dragon, then you might be able to fold this. It's like a whole new level. Okay, anyways, back to the, what I'm doing. Okay, so we have here's the octagon in the middle. Hmm. One, two. Okay. 
Oops, quite too many. Oops, too many. Too far. Oh wait, no, not too far. I got confused. Aaron gets confused. Come on, big boy, sir. We should be done. Nope. We are not. I don't think. One, two. One, two. One, two. And... We're almost done. We have to do one more over here. There we go. Okay, and we are done with this row. <clears throat> now, hey, uh, really? Oh, you yeah, Sorry. it's okay. Now, I've been recording for the past half hour. Sorry. It's okay, not a big deal. Now, we're gonna um make this square, this square, and this square, then this square, this square, and this square. Except this one has no edges on the paper, I mean. So we're going to rotate it back. One sec. Just peel some stuff off real quick. Some heel tissue. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to work on this, wait, let me check, scratch up this square. Now, as usual, we start by doing this crease. Oops, let me make sure you can see it. Oops, that should be better. Make it up, only up to this crease. If you think you got the hang of it, just, I'll have one tip for you. Make sure that the creases you're making don't cross the the um, halfway crease. I mean, like, the one it's going towards. Not this one, but this one, if the crease is going like this. And the last tip of advice, which is pretty important, is never let it go past this line if it's this square. Like, basically, never let it go out of the 2x2 two two square. That's all. If you want to, you can stop here. Basically, now I'm gonna um, you're gonna uh, let's do this one. I love origami. There we go. Oh, by the way, if you want more animals tutorials, super complex or animals, hit the like button. And remember, if we hit 20 subscribers by the time, um, by June 20th, that's um, we're one subscriber away, then I will design a scaled version of the fire breathing chaos dragon, which I taught last. Anywho. Back to what we're doing. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to make a crease from here to here, going between these two points and going to this edge. <clears throat> Remember, you can you can make any amount of my, my video tutorials as your own tutorial, but if, um, I make sure, by the way, my, all my videos have a copyright, click, uh, not a copyright, a copyright, something like that, um, a creator's copyright, whatever it's called, a, something, um, to make sure my videos are protected, so if you claim it as your own, it won't work that well, that well, plus, the only person I've ever showed this to, to was my mom, and I'm pretty sure no one was looking at it, anyways, we're gonna fold, making this, 
point. Yeah, pushing this point down. Yeah, I love double tissue paper. Now, we did, now what we're going to do is we're going to make more creases from corners to intersection points. So, in this case, right here. Another, another. And a bit more. So now we are going to, um, let me see what's the next crease. Found it. From that point to that point. This is a lot easier than you'd think. This is really just pretty greasing. If you think this is hard, then you probably shouldn't be attempting this model. You know me from my earlier videos, you know I'm quite an itchy guy. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold like this, making this amount of fold. By the way, we're done this, we're gonna move on to this one. Now, we can work our, we can do the rest of our creases based off of this. So, we need an intersection. So basically the trick is, you're gonna make one crease. You have to start with that. Then, you're gonna basically just use that crease to make an intersection point, and then just go all the way around with those intersection points. So you made one, you made another, now we go from this corner to that crease or that intersection we just made. Remember, comments are on. So, like I said, be nice and no cursing. Only two rules. But feel free to tell me have feedback or how much you like my models or if you have trouble or what paper I'm using, or even how to make double tissue. I can tell you all my methods, but um, I can tell you all my secrets, but um, for now, um, you'll see, uh, just tell me what you need. And I'll be happy to, if you need a redo, I'd be happy to. work from this corner to this intersection point. You want to have, like I said, you have time to have exact and strong creases. Pretty important. There we go. Now, let me just fix this a bit. Now, we're gonna work from here to here, and here to here, all the way across. Not like all the way across, the usual, like to the edge of the square you're working on. And if you find this too hard, another thing you can do is to um, work from, make um, um, 16 different smaller squares and then tape them together. That works too, if you think it's easier. Anyways, so now we're done this square. We're gonna do this square now. 
Now this, now, now this square was the trickiest, so this one shouldn't be as, actually no, this one's pretty tricky too. Okay, now, we're gonna start with the one crease, which is this. There we go. Now, we are going to hold from this corner to this intersection point and go all the way to here. You got the point of it. Get it point. That was the method. Anyways, now, um, we're gonna hold from here to here to here. So that's all one line. Well, the last one, the last was an approximate guess. This was kind of close. Now, we're gonna fold from here to here, approximately going through this intersection point. And remember, your face is not gonna be perfect. As long as you have a strong, big octagon in the middle, then you're good. Let me check that. That's the more right. Uh, I see what happened. Yeah, this crease. Oops. Now, we're gonna rotate 90 degrees, and we're gonna crease from here to here, all the way to the edge. So, from this corner of the square, make sure my computer doesn't turn off, to this intersection point, and to the edge of the square. It doesn't have to hit the edge perfectly. It's uh, you want want to be a bit longer rather than a bit shorter. Actually, you no, know, you want to be a bit shorter if you want. You can always extend it. Or it's, uh, it's kind of like if you want like food, you um you can always take more, but you don't want to waste it. Okay, now we're gonna we're gonna rotate. Actually, no, we're not gonna rotate. We're gonna hold from this point to this point all the way here. And then, now we rotate 90 degrees. And we're gonna do the last couple creases for this row. Here, to here, all the way there. There we go. And now we have three squares left. And then we're gonna do the final part of the pre creasing which I can tell you is quite simple. It's just dividing here, like here and here into eight parts and then making some diamonds, that's all. It's pretty simple. Okay, now what we're gonna do, is we're gonna work on one, two, three squares on this on this row remember it's from here to here you know what let me draw it out basically no this isn't working but basically you're gonna, you're gonna go from this line to this line to this line that's your borders and then boundaries between the squares so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold here to here and fold to this crease now we're gonna do the usual thing 
where I'm gonna do this. And now, sorry about that. My um, now we're gonna fold this to this to here. Basically, we're gonna fold it. This time, I'm gonna start from the other side. There we go. And then we're gonna rotate, oops. And we are gonna check, oh yeah, right over here. We're gonna fold here to here to here, or to the edge. There we go. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this point to this point and extend it to the edge. I think you get the point by now. Sorry for saying that. You get the idea, that's better. Now we're gonna do the usual thing where you go to the intersection. There we go. And then finally, we do these. Which I'm not really gonna narrate. I can get the idea. You know, but I'm still gonna show the rest of it because it helps you like get it just in case you missed it. And remember, you can always rewind. The best part of YouTube for Oregonist. Okay. Now we're gonna rotate again, and we. This square and this square. Now, um, I'm gonna turn my light off so it's easier to see. Okay, now we're gonna make a crease. Basically, we're gonna make this amount and fold. Okay, now. Push in this point and hold it to the crease. There we go. So now we can do the usual thing again. Do the usual rotating thing between the two points. Yeah, this some of you might consider it as a tessellation, some of you might consider it an animal. It's kind of a little bit of both, in my opinion, because the tessellations usually do a lot of one thing, right? Like a lot of one small thing, but in which is what we're doing for these. Oops, sorry, these. I mean, sorry. Okay, so now we're gonna do a, it again. Where we do it from this point to this point. And then the last side, I believe. Yeah, last side.
go. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go on to the, the final last square. I'm not even waiting for this. So, let me just check. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So, we have to do this one, I think. That doesn't seem right. There, we have to do this one still, but we did these, got it. Okay, now, okay, now we're gonna fold this crease to this crease so they align. And then push in this point. And go to the crease. Okay, now the usual. Go to the intersection. I'm not, I'm just going to try not to say it anymore. You guys are probably getting bored of my voice. Basically, you do the same thing with all the nine squares. Some, some are easier than others. Like the ones on the edge, they're a lot simpler. Check. Here are the intersection point. Oh, there you go. Now, we do the intersection. And then, we do, um, here, to here, yeah, I love double tissue paper. It's much better than graph paper, I can tell you that at least. Okay, now what we're gonna do the last couple of creases. I know, I know you're excited. At least for the octagon thingy. There we go. And okay, rotate it again. Let me just check. Let me just check. I think we're done actually. No, we're not. Let me just check. Okay, I don't think we're done. We have to rotate it in this direction, I think. Yeah. Oh, by the way, in the comments of this video and the next few that are the hedgehog, to, please tell me what I should design next. I'll try my best. And you can say anything except the type of box, which I'm very bad at, actually. Okay, now we're on the final creases. Yay! We're going to make it so that it's in this direction. And we're going to fold this edge to this edge. Make it 
strong, of course. Then we're gonna fold this edge to this original edge, the raw edge, as some people might say. And unfold completely. Now fold up to here. This raw edge to the, the what the edge is now. And then fold along this valley fold and repeat. We're folding the now has the raw edge on. It's hard to explain, but just follow along, okay? one all right wait let me check it's, it's, is this is the last one no it's not There we go. Now, we're gonna go along the quarter lines, but make sure it's the two quarter lines that are in between the rows of squares. So in this case, where it's on got on th this edge, it's gonna be this one and this one. Basically now, you're gonna make, you're gonna fold this edge along that crease. Unfold and repeat on the other side. Make these creases extra strong. There's, they're going through multiple layers, actually. Now, we're going to um, repeat that for the center line or the middle halfway crease, the one that goes from this point to this point, or it would be a bit longer if we unfolded it. But you get the point. <laughs> okay, now unfold. And we're going to rotate and repeat this, and then I promise we're done the pre freezing. Yay! Okay, so now I'm going to fold here to here. Yeah, make sure creases are good and you have a complete good square. The little tissue, don't be like me. Okay, unfold. And we're gonna do the same thing. You might have guessed. Can't believe this video is gonna be an hour long. I mean, this is a pretty complex model. Sorry about the background noise. And hold here, as usual. And remember, do not do this quarter. Only this one. Wait, no, sorry. Do not do this quarter. We got, I got turned around. Do this one uh, and this one. Wait, no, this one. 
Remember, do not dole out all the corners because it won't work very well. And you will not have, you do not, oh, trust me, you do not want to have a weird looking six legged hedgehog, not hedgehog, hedgehog, porcupine. I'm getting that wrong. Not a big deal. You could say I'm pretty sharp to fold this model. But, um, anyways. Enough with the weird jokes. The bad jokes. And to completely unfold. And you guessed it. We are finally, finally, finally done with the precursing. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, by the way, um, remember the, the, um, Com sorry, the collapsing will be coming out soon, and after that, I'll make a time lapse. So, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.